We shall be keeping you updated as we progress. For now, we cross over to Westlands, where the African Union is commemorating the 20th anniversary of the Maputo Protocol on the rights of women in Africa. Now, let's cross over where the Cabinet Secretary for Public Service, Aisha Jumwa, is currently speaking. And convene all of us today to take stock of the achievements made in the implementation of the protocol by member states, as well as the challenges and emerging women's concerns as we agree on the strategies for improvement. Indeed, you are a true Pan-African coalition. You have dedicated yourself to keeping the Maputo Protocol alive, and you have made it important, the most, uh, the most progressive treaty in the region, and it, that has greatly advanced the rights of women and girls in this great continent. Ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate 20 years, we acknowledge the effort that the African Union Commission has made in persistently pursuing member states to sign and ratify the protocol. As we sit here today, 80% of which 44 out of 55 um, country, African countries has ratified the Maputo Protocol, symbolizing the willingness of African leaders to protect, to promote, and fulfill women's rights on the continent. Join me in applauding the 44th and youngest African member states, the Republic of South Sudan, who just who just deposited their instruments of ratification on 7th June 2023. We commit to collectively hold your hand as you take your baby steps until you are able to walk or even run ahead of some early risers to the process. Welcome to this journey. Allow me to also congratulate the 42 member states who started this journey much earlier, led by the 15 countries that showed the rest of us the way. We celebrate you. And echoing the voice of our beautiful young Chantel, we urge the remaining 11 African Union to consider ratifying the protocol. Ladies and gentlemen, in line with Article 26 of the protocol that requires member states to fully implement the protocol at the national level, including allocating budgetary resources and reporting on measures undertaken for the full realization of the rights to the Commission, I am aware that member states that have ratified have been submitting periodic reports to the Commission on the progress we are taking as a continent. I believe the progress Africa as a continent is making has greatly contributed to the modest improvement of 0.3% points to global gender gap score, which now stands at 68.4%. Although the current rate of progress, it will take 131 years to achieve full gender parity. It is worth noting that Sub-Saharan Africa has closed 68.2% of its gender gap, representing a 0.1% overall improvement, but progress in the region has been very uneven. Well, that was the CS Public Service, Aisha Jumwa, loading the AU on its efforts 
on uh, ratifying the protocol. And at the same time, the event is dubbed uh, the Bar on Policies and Partnerships for African People. We shall be keeping you updated in our subsequent post.